Okay, so um, uh, this is a TikTok video, I promise you. Uh, <clears throat> so what happened is uh, when I am using TikTok in Myanmar, I get Myanmar TikToks. And there are a handful of people that show what it's like in the Pecant mine. And here you can see there's incredible hordes of people. Every morning, finding their favorite spot to look for jadeite. And you'll see in some of these video names of people who, or numbers of people who have made these videos, you may want to write them down and, and uh, check them out because some just show mine videos. So, but here you see hordes of people. I mean, they, they wait for the gates to open and they know where they're going or they think they know where they're going and they're looking for that spot where they think they will be uh, for the ambitious one, overnight millionaire, or for the basic one, just enough to get through day-to-day -day expenses. And as I mentioned to you, the income is quite low in Myanmar. Uh, and you can see that they have motorbikes. Uh, motorbike cost about $1,000. Uh, the Chinese one, maybe half the price. And the Japanese one, a little bit more. So... <clears throat> So there's a mad rush in the morning. Uh, they have their equipment. The key piece of equipment is a long stick with a little metal, so with a little metal line, um, I don't know, like a little hole on it. And what they do is they hit the rocks. And the rock, it's just like when you hit two bangles together. It has a very, very unique sound. And when it when they hit that, that means it could be a nice piece of jadeite. But this is incredible. They're they're standing on the edge of the cliff. They they throw the dirt down the the cliffs and and are there people underneath? Absolutely. Uh, I have purposely not shown any of the videos, and you might find them the videos of people getting hit and people being carried out by their, uh, call it, you know, colleagues. Uh, these are dump trucks that just get rid of the, um, the dirt from the strip mining. And you can see it's treacherous. Uh, but they do this every day, all day long, with the hope of finding jadeite. Some of that machinery is pretty big. And uh, there was an article about how important Chinese investors are to, to the Myanmar people who own the concession for a piece of land. Um, one piece of equipment can cost up to $3 million a piece. So Chinese investors come in, they get a piece of uh, the equity or the concession uh, output and you know clearly they have their way of taking these roughs, these stones and they could weigh up to tons or they could fit in the palm of your hand uh, but if it's good jade there will be a market for it. But you can see the size of some of these call it in quote crap, uh, scraps they're using the crappy jade and they, or the rocks and they just let it go into that uh, lake underneath. Um, <clears throat> it's very sad to watch some videos and I purposely did not show them. Uh, it's the rainy season now and, um, and there was a massive landslide and I think 162 people were missing as a result of the landslide. And this is the last video. It shows that uh, this goes on all day, all night. And I'll thank TikTok for 
uh, allowing me to show these. I didn't ask them for permission, but by putting their name up and not trying to hide people's uh, people's names, I invite people to go look for some more.